This is a 2003 Honda CRV with code P1279. And uh, I think it's the VTEC solenoid. But before we start here, this is the solenoid. I took it off already. And I'm just going to zoom in there. There's a bunch of crap in the screen. And uh, I think that might be the cause. I'm going to give it a shot cleaning it. And we'll see what it does. Okay, so this is the VTEC solenoid. I'm just going to test it here. I throw 12 volts at it. As you can see, it works just fine. Okay, let's test this sensor and I'm going to throw 40 psi of air at this uh, pressure sensor and see if it's doing its job. Well, it looks like it's doing its job, so we'll reassemble it and see how uh, this works after cleaning that screen. Okay, so I just went for a drive and the engine light came on and I've got that code again. So the diagnostics continue. And this is what the scan tool recommends checking. Okay, so I got the vehicle at 2500 RPM and I'm testing VTEC solenoid with my power probe. And this is what the scan tool is showing. I'll switch it on, power on now, watch. Nothing, nothing's happening. Okay, so off camera, um, when I initially tested it, the VTEC was coming on on my uh, scan tool. It was showing that the VTEC switch was uh, um, operating. So every time I threw power at that VTEC solenoid, I'd watch it turn on and off. And I could actually hear it in the motor. But now I'm doing it a few minutes later, trying to capture it on video what the scan tool was showing, and it wouldn't work at all. So I checked the solenoid and the solenoid's still clicking like it's supposed to. So I'm gathering there's an oil delivery problem to the VTEC solenoid or there's an obstruction of oil or this motor is really low on oil pressure. So I guess the next thing to check is oil pressure. Okay, so that's the uh, screen on the front. I got the screen part off and that little plate off for the VTEC. And it looks like there's a bunch of crap in there. I dropped the little plate down um, the side of the engine here and a bunch of the crap probably fell out. But this is the screen here. And it looks like the screen is broken. So I'm probably going to have to order that part because I don't have one. Okay, so I got my screens cleaned out. I'm at idle. I'm jumping the VTEC solenoid and I'm going to show you what the scan tool does. You should see that VTEC pressure switch turn off when I supply 12 volts. And I'm supplying 12 volts now. There you go, it's working. Now I'll release it. Okay, so I'm revved up to 2500 RPM and I'm throwing that switch uh, manually with my 12 volt supply and it is now not working so I'm going to determine that the VTEC solenoid has failed. Flying 12 volts to it now and it's not changing. Okay, so I'm warmed up now and I'm going to apply voltage to that solenoid so you can hear it clicking. Hear that click? That solenoid is clicking, so VTEC is still not working after the motor is warmed up. Okay, I'm testing out the VTEC solenoid and the VTEC solenoid pressure switch that verifies whether VTEC is working or not to the engine's ECU. So what I've done right now is I've tapped into uh, where the pressure switch gets its oil pressure from and I've put it on a T and I've reconnected the pressure switch and on the T I've connected an oil pressure gauge so that I can actually monitor the pressure to see what it's doing. Because when I was activating it, um, when the vehicle was warm I noticed that the VTEC uh, pressure switch was not showing that it was activating so either you have a problem with the switch a problem with the solenoid or a problem with oil pressure so i wanted to check all of those and i bench tested the solenoid and the pressure switch and they both bench bench tested just fine so i decided to do this to see what the oil pressure was doing when i was activating it manually with the power probe okay so i'm going to activate vtec manually with the power probe which is going to supply power to the vtec solenoid and the pressure switch should verify it but I'm also going to be, be able to see the oil pressure here. Just check this out.
I'd like to know why that oil pressure is dropping. Is the solenoid failing or is the engine bleeding internally somewhere? That's it, oil pressure gone. I think that snapping sound in the valve cover there was the VTEC disengaging the secondary camshaft lobes. So I have a new VTEC solenoid on the way and I'm going to try it out. I'll try a new VTEC solenoid and, and a new pressure switch as, since it comes as an assembly. And uh, I'll see if the problem does exactly the same thing or if it clears it up. If it clears it up then I'm going to conclude that the VTEC solenoid was bad. Um, but I don't know if it's the same problem then there's a problem with the engine the engine is bleeding oil pressure internally and I don't know where it's going okay so I'm testing now just the engine oil pressure and I supply power to my VTEC solenoid just to see what it would do and it is now not working as indicated by the scan tool I did hear the VTEC click when it let go of the rockers in the valve cover so that's how I know there's no oil pressure there to uh, activate the VTEC. So my conclusion now is the VTEC solenoid is failing. Okay, so I got a new VTEC solenoid down in there. You can see it there. New solenoid assembly. And I'm testing it and this is what we're getting now. I'm at 2000 RPM and we're holding a pretty steady just a smidge under 60 psi and it, it kind of fluctuates a little bit but it doesn't really drop below 45 as oil temperature goes up so I think the solenoid was definitely the problem because before it would have been dropping off by now already really fast Okay, so here's my theory. So this is how the solenoid works. Oil pressure goes in here, and then it comes up to this little solenoid sensor, and there's two ports up here. There's one port there and one port there. And when you click the solenoid open, it allows pressure to flow from one port to the other. Then it moves into, I believe, this top port, and it pushes this uh, spool valve down, and then it allows this oil pressure that's in this side to flow into this side, and then that goes towards your VTEC sensor, or your VTEC that way. And that's that port in there, that's your pressure sensor. So that's what we're measuring off of. That's where I'm getting my oil pressure reading from, is off of that oil pressure sensor, and I've got it teed in with the sensor. So what I think ha is happening here is I think oil goes inside of this solenoid, because I can push, see how you push that in there? When, you, when it clicks open, I think oil is going inside of there, and it's leaking past something, and then oil pressure is pushing on the other side of that solenoid, which was pushing the spool valve in the closed position and that's why my VTEC was dropping off so when these solenoids fail I think oil pressure goes in the other side and pushes that sucker closed and it overcomes uh, what the electric uh, coil can do to pull that solenoid open so I think that's why they fail and uh, that's that's what I'm coming to a conclusion on here because I've got a new one in there now and it works just fine if you like this content please hit like and subscribe and please share with your friends. Thank you so much.